Hey guys, DM Man here. I know it's been a hot second since any of these sessions were uploaded, but that's due to one of the most annoying problems I've ever had in my two years of streaming this. We had a malfunction, and all of the audio from session 60 was lost. Now if you didn't know, we took a week off of streaming a few weeks ago, and during that time we streamed solely to our Discord users. And because of a little misstep on my part, I forgot to record audio during some of these. Now we said we were going to do a little recap animation, but going through the footage and the notes, it, not a lot actually happened. So I thought I would do a summary for you guys very quickly, with a little bit of bullet notes. Essentially all that happened was exploration. Ichiro, Homura, and Kosuke all explored the abandoned high school, or what they thought would be an abandoned high school. But instead what they found was robots, with pre-programmed dialogue to react whenever they entered the room. After being made incredibly uncomfortable, they decided to move on to the next area, which was a diner. A short conversation with one of the robots at the diner made them realize that there is money here, and you can essentially just lie. Meaning that Homura, Kosuke, and Ichiro essentially have infinite money on the compound so long as they are able to deceive these robots well enough. And almost immediately following, one of the emergency scenario tests was activated. An active shooter. Though it was probably a de-escalation sort of emergency, the trio immediately destroyed the robot, damaging it and putting it out of commission. It was then almost immediately after that that they met Dr. Wakeman, the lady who runs this compound. A quick scolding later, and they were immediately given keys to one of the outside automobiles that drove them back to the hotel. And that's essentially where the session ended. And as much as I would love to add a cool little animation, it is kind of tough. And as a DM, as well as VOD editor, I'm very glad that we did not lose anything with important detail, story, and fun action. And without further ado, here is the session we recorded after. Not a vibe check, but what were the characters' overall thoughts exploring the school and finding these robotic people engaged in, like, I would say cliched classroom activity? Horrible vibes. <laughs> yeah. Hate them. It's quite hate quite them. Annoying. I hate them. <laughs> Hate, hate, hate. <laughs> hate is so, hate. so filled with hate. You guys then took off for the diner. And at the diner, you encountered your first test emergency situation was armed robbery, believe it or not. And while you had entered and stopped this mess, you also encountered Dr. Wakeman, the facility overseer and chief scientist. Disgusted with how you had handled her AI, she sent you guys back to the dorm, or to your to your suite. Gave you keys to a little car that you were able to park in the basement garage. These cars, though I didn't really get to explain, are kind of not all controlled, but they run off of a pre-written path. It's sort of a Jurassic Park situation where there's no way for you to hurt yourself because it cannot veer off the road and it cannot crash into anything. Um, I might... <laughs> same system. Oh, someone said, hey guys, you are awesome. I might be in a campaign using the same exact system. Are you using the Class 1C or the Jujutsu run by, what's his name? Houseman, I believe. I said it, what's his name? I feel so bad as if I, I don't know the guy. <laughs> um, after traveling back, you explored the bottom area. You trained with uh, Team Ven or Team Tsuyoshi, Hitori, Alina, and Nanashi in the downstairs workout area, showered, and then headed up where you guys and Team Funny partied for a little bit. Um, obviously, there is a not so strict, but enforced curfew. Uh, and after that, you guys went to bed, to which you are now waking up around 8. No. <laughs> The alarm is one that's ringing throughout the building. A, I want to say common alarm that you would find. Uh, let me see. It is a classic alarm sound effect. Yippee. Um, you can hear this going on throughout the rest of the rooms in the, in the entire area, but uh, what, how do you guys wake up? Do you guys have any uh, different morning routines when you wake up in a place that's not your dorm or your house? 
Uh, I imagine I don't wake up as peacefully. Mm. <laughs> he wakes up and he has like his entire head, his like bed head, shifted to one side of his head. Point out. <clears throat> I think Kosuke just gets the, uh, the momentary, like, where am I? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I know Homura and Ichiro both claim to bed, so Kosuke is waking up on a couch. Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> Which is not super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can only assume he's the only one with a real gripe about pain or, or non-support, I guess. It's always the gap in between the cushions. Yeah, he's, like, lost his phone somewhere. There's no charger <laughs> near him, so his, his phone's, like, up against the wall on the opposite side. <clears throat> yeah, do you guys want to check your fridge? Perhaps see what you've got? Oh, God. Or... Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, who is up first? I should have asked. Probably me. There yeah. is 20 items available when you open up all the Whoa. cupboards. There is canned soup, pasta, pasta sauce, rice, cereal, bread, peanut butter, jam, instant coffee, tea bags, instant noodles, canned beans, canned vegetables, frozen vegetables, frozen pizza, frozen dinner, Eggs, milk, butter, and cheese available. And I will, of course, send this to you guys in chat. They are all several use. So whatever you want to grab, you have and will be restocked. Oh. <laughs> Neck care. What do you grab? I love some the oatmeal. All right. You have oatmeal? Yes, sir. Did I say that? Did you just pull that out of thin air? You said you said cereal. Oh, oh. Oatmeal. oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, fair. All right. You grab the milk, pour yourself a bowl. You can move yourself to the table if you'd like. There's an island, two seats, so one of you is going to have to stand. You guys keep getting there before Kosuke. Kosuke just being the speedy one gets everything last. Be kind of mean. Uh... I'll just eat at the couch. Mm. Do you want to turn on the TV? Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> Alright. There is a list of channels available. Uh... Do you want to watch... Oh, wow, okay. Virtual Vacation Network, Robot Rumble, Time Travel Television. These are all fake, by the way. Like, you, as you scroll over them, uh, there's, like, Sci-Fi Cinema, Culinary Cosmos, Mystery Mansion, Space Sports Network, The Retro Rewind. Wait, go see. Put that one on. <laughs> Space. Space Sports Network? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you turn it on, there is... It's clearly got some budget, but it's not anywhere near what you would expect. The animation is all 3D, almost like PS1 graphics style. And it's a bunch of guys playing football in a zero G environment. And as they tackle each other, they keep all tackling onto one guy, forming one massive ball uh, and Yo, this bouncing. Is like Last Legend 10. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but based. It's a Final Fantasy X reference. Mm. Oh, yeah. What is it? Uh, What is... Fucking Griff Ball? I don't know. No, no. Griff Ball is... <laughs> Griff Ball. I know. I know. What's the, the sport in uh, Final Fantasy X? The ball? Blitz Ball. Blitz Ball. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> that's a good reference. Uh, Griff Ball is the, the fucking rooster teeth. Yeah, Halo. Uh, you guys don't necessarily have any particular time you have to be out by, but you should be in the hotel's main entrance by around 9 o'clock. So as you've gotten up around 8, the timer has started. 
and you have about an hour to either prepare yourself, roam about, or just hang out until it's time. Of course, there is going to be those people who attend early and those who show up probably late, but that's none of your concern. Well, I've always, you know, liked to be punctual. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'll eat the jam and is there bread? Absolutely. Uh, I think. Yes, there is. Conjure it? <laughs> you summon bread. 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 Fair enough. Uh, All right. Uh, Kosuke's just eating some cereal, too. Mm. All right. But... Lobby time. Oh, Kosuke. Kosuke, Kosuke, Kosuke. Yeah, are you just... What kind like, of meal is that? Are just, like, drinking the whole bottle of jam? <laughs> sure. Disgusting. <laughs> it's good, quite good. good. Watch it. He turns into uh, fucking banjo. Yeah. <laughs> I was good, more good, like good. Popeye, but <laughs> oh, like oh yeah. Drinks me spinach. <laughs> Drinks me jam. I like when me spinach is in a liquid form. <laughs> Preferably a jam. All right. I see you moving things around there in the dark. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, if you could clearly see. Yeah, if you could kindly move over to the office. Alright. There, there are six things you don't know about me. <laughs> six. One, I'm gay. Two, I'm gay. Three, I'm the gay. The fifth one will kill you. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> One, I'm gay. Two, I'm gay. Three, I'm gay. Four, I'm gay. Five, I'm straight. And then an explosion. <laughs> Six, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the explosion reverts. <laughs> <laughs> and then all is right. I just put a taste of my power. <laughs> Is the lobby all set? Yeah, you, I mean, you could move at any okay. point. Oh, yeah. You can describe who you go to. You're moving your silly little pieces around. Your uh, silly little board game pieces. Oh, I sure do love the elevator. Oh, I sure do love getting <laughs> out the elevator. Ah. Ah, the lobby. <laughs> My friends. Hello, friends. I was here faster. Fuck you. We getting breakfast? I already eated it. Yeah. And we eat in our to, room. Kosuke says to Ryanosuke at the front desk. Oh, oh, you're you're asking him if he's gotten breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, he gives you like, yeah, I brought bars from home. I didn't really expect them to have the food I wanted, so I was kind of surprised when I opened up and saw a big pack. I'm assuming yeah. he might have suggested it, but it's good to have extras. And you can see he's got like specific uh protein and grain bars that he eats that are packed into mm -hmm. his little pack like a, a little fanny pack on his side um and clean night looking over as he's like typing something out he like gives you guys a wave hello clean night clean night <laughs> oh mr knight where are we going today ranking 90s in Clean Knight. <laughs> they call him Clean Knight because he cranks 90s and he's clean with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess Clean Knight, are we doing anything? All right. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. So Nothing as today. as yeah, clean. I just doesn't. <laughs> Shay, as you as you all move in, you see the groups. I should probably transition you guys over to the whiteboard, but I have to switch. Sorry, I was switching myself back from a radio over to Cleanite because I just oh. ran my hero. <laughs> um, and zooming in so that it's not like all the fucking way out, so you guys aren't super mega tiny. Um, but yeah. Hello. Hello, everybody. As you walk into the main lobby, you can see, of course, Sukara, Akihiko, Sutiko, and Rory 
are all slapping the foosball table around. Um, a few minutes pass until you can hear Sukara like, Akiko, that that's our goal. Um, and Akiko like, yeah, I don't really like air hockey. And he's like, Akihiko, we're playing foosball. Uh, over in the corner, you can see Sosuke has pushed his chair out. Amara, Kyo, and him seem to be having a conversation, but they keep ushering him closer because they can't hear him. Tsuyoshi, Hitori, and Alina, all exhausted from a prior day's workout, are leaning back and uh, relaxing. Shingo, Elias, and Ei seem to be kind of in their own spaces, uh, on their phones, etc. Elias, a little angry that he can't seem to get any good service. Shingo, twiddling his thumbs, and Ei, brooding as usual. Mitsuru and Ryunosuke are kind of hanging over by the front. Every time Mitsuru thinks to start moving out, Clean Knight, without looking up, is like, Mitsuru, come back. Uh, and Mitsuru giving him the like, I was just getting a snack from the vending machine. Clean Knight responding with an, I don't care, don't leave my side. Uh, and a few minutes pass. Do you guys want to say hello to anyone else before you see these people enter? Um, I have to gather them. I'm going to say hi to E. Guy. Uh, he, with his thumb and pointer finger, kind of squeezes between the bridge of his nose as if he's clearing like eye boogers. Um, turns over and looks up at you, and you can see his eyes, his pupils, his targeted pupils dilate for a moment. Uh, he realizes it's you, and then he just goes back to whatever else he was doing before. Worth the shot. Fair enough. Yeah, doing what? Rooting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get... Ah, here we go. Clean night. Tick, 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 tick. Click. Goes, all right, gang. Gather up. Uh, and ushers a few of the kids closer. Um, Sukar's like, <laughs> gosh, dang it. I'm never playing with you on my team again. Uh, Akihiko being like, I can't believe we won. And he's like, we didn't. You scored about half their goals on our goal. And he goes, ha, I hate air hockey. Um, Tsuyoshi, Hitori, Tsuyoshi gets up and you can hear him like, ow, 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 ow. Um, Alina simply scoots closer to Hitori within a respectable distance. Um, Sosuke and Amara approach. Amara a lot closer to the others than the than everyone else um, and Elias, Shingo, and Ei stay sitting alright team in a few minutes some of the facilitating directors are going to be joining us these people here have been called specially for our class of course other than the faculty director I want you to show them the utmost respect possible these are teachers and workers who are here to help you become better heroes all right, so on three, I want you to all go respect. Ready, one, two. Uh, there respect. is a yeah respect. muddled response, of course. So she respect, you like clap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the back row gives a like yeah half-hearted, and of course, the Elias Shingo EI trio <laughs> are doing the, the uh, huh. I said the Elias. The Elias. The Elias Shingo AI trio <laughs> give veritably different responses depending on who. Shingo, of course, being utmost respect, giving a clap and respect. Uh, EI brooding. And Elias kind of like half clapping. Like, yeah, sure. Um, Ryunosuke covers his ears as everyone kind of claps and yells. And Mitsuru just looks back at Clean Knight. Clean Knight giving him like a you fucking dare mess this up. Uh, so I'm going to split you off into three groups. All right? When you hear your name, line up in order. So team one. Tsuyoshi Ichigo. And he's like, yes! Uh, he lines up. <laughs> uh, Ichiro Kobanai. You be. Stand next to Tsuyoshi. Homura Yoshino. Uh, Akihiko Takutentai. And he's like, 
he looks around for a minute before Sukar is like, dude, that's you. <laughs> uh, Elias finally moves to make sure that you guys can line up properly. So I'm going to move Tsuyoshi over just a little bit. Kosuke Ojiro. Mm -hmm. You. Why? Close one. You say oh, why? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Ryunosuke Tankyu. Uh, and Ryunosuke, avoiding like getting in line, just stands next to Kosuke. Uh, as soon as EI sees you guys together, Ryunosuke like, re re like reaches out and grabs your hand. Not in an embarrassing fashion, but in a, like, we're holding a hand. Hold my hand! <laughs> yeah. Uh, and EI scoffs before getting up and, like, moving away to get water. Um, all right. And Amara Choco. Uh, and with that, Amara steps up. Group two! Rory Aegis. And I'll, of course, skip through. Sukara Kamui, Sutiko Geazo, Mitsuru Rei, and Sosuke Kaiten. Group three, Shingo Kinkagayaki, Elias Aroa, Iai Yazutsu, Hitori Rapta, Nanashi Harukari, and Elena Shango. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He, uh, as he's going through, he's like, he looks over at Kyo and is like, oh, shit. Uh, Kyo, you're going to be with group two. And Kyo's like, woohoo. Could have guessed <laughs> that one. I, why does that feel like an afterthought? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to line you guys up appropriately. I'm glad we're not doing it inappropriately. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. All right, whoever wants to line up, go ahead. Um, I will say you have to line up single file. And afterward, he opens his phone and Clean Knight st like steps through the counter and is like, all right, guys, let me just make our quick call. And he like has to like scoot by you guys. There's so many of you. Um, over the phone, he hears, yep, yep, all right, come on, send the first one in. Um, the first it, you can hear is doom, 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 doom. A massive thundering footstep of iron and steel. The, uh, there's a voice modulator, of course. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this. Let me see. I think I can. He just gives a, a like... Ahaha! <laughs> Glay Knight, it's good to see you again! Um, Silo, it's so good to see you. You're gonna be taking group three today, will that be alright? Oh, it's perfect, buddy! Uh, and he, like, tries to fit through the door, but his shoulder mounted cannons kind of stop him, and he. <laughs> How about you guys meet me out here? Uh, and you can see he looks over. Elena is just like, oh, um, oh, my God. <laughs> Clean it's like, excuse me? Oh, okay, I guess I can. Um, wow. and with that, group three is headed out. Uh, and you see them as Silo steps out. He walks over into, like, out of sight, and you can hear a rumbling that sounds like treads of a tank. Uh, take off. Uh, Clean Knight realizes very quickly that he just drove off without even getting the explanation. This is going to be a problem. All right. Well, thankfully, Dr. Wakeman is here next. He wasn't supposed to leave, but... <sighs> All right. He, uh, like, gestures over, and you can see a woman approaching with a lot lighter of a step. Dr. Wakeman, it's so good to see you. And she gives you the, oh, clean night. You're so, you're so kind. So polite. That's what I love about you. And she, like, puts a, a, a pointer finger under his chin as if she's, like, you know, tilting his head up. And he goes, oh, okay. Uh, no touching. Um, Leans his ways. Yeah. <laughs> she more like he 
cleans her hand when he moves yeah, her down. Yeah, uh, Greetings, esteemed recruits. Welcome to the Sentinel facility for emergency training, where bravery meets discipline and courage meets resolve. I see that you're missing about a third of your number. Where? And he looks over and he puts a hand on her shoulder and he's like, Silo took them. And she goes, ah, I see. They won't be joining us today. I'll be sure to give them a remedial course. Today, you will be divided into three groups, each tasked with exploring a different sector of our facility. Remember, each challenge you face here at Sentinel uh, Emergency Facility is an opportunity for growth. Embrace the journey, embrace the lessons, and most importantly, embrace, embrace the bond that unites you as future heroes. You will all be facilitate, er, you will all be exploring a third of this facility, Group One. Where are you, Group One? See, she like is like raising his hand so hard you think his hand's gonna pop out of his socket. You guys will be exploring the first half. You will be heading up this route, and she points over to a little pad that she's pulled off her side. Uh, a red dot goes over the facility map that you guys have seen. First, you'll be going over to the arcade, then the bowling alley, and then the warehouse. Is that clear? And see so she's like, oh, perfectly! Um, and uh, the rest of you are, or I say the rest of you, like, Amara and Akihiko is like, Amara gives it like, of course! And Akihiko is like, who is this lady? Um, she looks back and sees, oh, I see we have some returning guests. Yes, you'll be exploring a little bit more of this facility. Won't you? Uh, and she's kind of gesturing towards Kosuke, Homura, and Ichiro. And Ryunosuke puts a hand on Kosuke's shoulder and whispers, like, Do you know this woman? Nope. No. Oh. Well, she's... Okay. Barely. Barely implies that you have met. Seen. Talked at. Fair enough. I've had my fair share of experiences being talked at. Um, all right. Clean night, you said I'll be taking group two? He goes, yes. And he looks over and realizes that not oh, only is God. Kyo and Mitsuru in that group, but so is Sukara. And he looks back at his list and he goes, oh, no. Oh, no. He says, oh, God. It's going to be. It is going to be. He pulls over and puts a hand on Kyo. And you can see uh, the grip is way stronger <laughs> than it should be. And he goes, Kyo, I need you to listen to me. If you make an ass of my class, I'm going to put you through so many remedial courses, you might as well be taking high school twice. Uh, and Kyo gives her like, <laughs> uh, Do we have an understanding? He's got his teeth gritted, and Kyo's like, uh, he doesn't say anything, but you can hear the, the bell in his head like, as he shakes his head back and forth. Uh, he then leans back to like the side, like he's gesturing to Mitsuru and Sukara, and he does the fingers to his eyes and then fingers to the two of them, like he's watching them. Um, uh, all right, you're with me, group two. We will be exploring the high school, the movie theater. And she trails off as she starts dragging them out. Uh, and as she gets them outside, she gives your group a little look over and she goes, oh, and group one, uh, waiting for you all to look and it's like have fun today uh with a if you want to give me an insight check to see how she meant it you can but it seemed really yeah. odd i'm just gonna assume <laughs> yeah she seems like a nice lady that's not what i was assuming <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, five seven uh it wasn't nice whatever she was insinuating yeah what? Um, finally, he leans over and goes, oh, that's odd. He should be here by now. Um, I hope this guy's cool. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm coming. Uh, he is like running across the street and nearly trips over himself. I'm here. I'm here. Ah, ah William, it's so good to see you. Uh, he reaches for William uh, or... So this man's name you can see he's got soul doctor emblazoned um on a little hello my name is uh, it's so good to see you he, they both reach to to shake hands and 
uh, Kleenex goes, ah! And so uh, the soul doctor goes, ah! And they will go, ah! He goes, yeah, don't touch me. <laughs> uh, he goes, ah, oh, Kyoshi, I think you know. I'd never do that to a colleague. Um, so, aren't these the ones I'm taking? Then he goes, yep, you'll be taking group one. I, su I suspect Nora and Silo have taken them already. Uh, Kleenex gives the like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, not too patient, are they? And Kleenex goes, guess correct. All right. Well then, shall we get going? Uh, and he looks over at Tsuyoshi. Because, might I introduce myself? Children, you may call me Soul Doctor. Uh, but my friends call me William, or Will for short. We're not there yet, though, so don't call me that. Uh, the Tsuyoshi gives him like a ha! Everyone else is kind of quiet. Um, and he goes, all right, tough crowd. Come with me, uh, and you guys are going to be let out. Where are we going first? Uh, and with that, we, you guys uh. are guided to the next part, to the and arcade. And just going to sit on his ass all day? <laughs> you, you're so mean to him. He's got to do paperwork or something. Sure. He has to clean something. <laughs> All right, to the arcade. Make yourself useful and go clean something. <laughs> <laughs> and... If he wasn't a hero, he would make a bomb-ass janitor. <laughs> clean that if he wasn't a hero and it's him, like, <laughs> him in a janitor's <laughs> garb. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you guys arrive, not too far of a walk, I might add. Soul Doctor uh, is going to stand by the door and go, Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Tsuyoshi is hesitant and stops around the front. He goes, Sir, are we really going to be just hanging out by an arcade? And he goes, An excellent question, lad. We're not just hanging out, we're surveying. We're going to be making sure that we have a good layout of this facility. It's a good... Uh, a good practice for heroes to know just exactly where they're going to be and to get good patrols. If you're patrolling, you want to know exactly where to patrol and how to get there at a quickest and most hasty pace. Um, and he goes, now get in there, and he opens the door and ushers Tsuyoshi in. And as Tsuyoshi passes by, he touches Tsuyoshi on the back and then looks at his hand for a moment, confused. Uh, and then it's like, whatever. All right, the rest of you, um, Akihiko, like, jumps inside. Uh, Amara's like, yee! Uh, and she runs inside. Uh, the rest of RGB, go ahead on. Um, and he keeps the door open. Okay. Did he call us RGB? No, 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 I'm saying that. That's me. <laughs> That'd Thank be you, goofy. Mr. Doctor, sir. Hold on, let me attach Ryunosuke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say pretty much. Um, Ryunosuke watches as Soul Doctor like is holding the door open, and get, like turns to Kosuke and is like, "I get a weird vibe from this guy," whispering to him. Really? Not like a bad vibe, just like a, I don't know. All right. It's the accent, isn't it? You British from a foreign land. Yeah, from a uh, from the Isles. So you guys have free reign to explore a little bit. There seems to be no one in here at the moment. Well, there's a few people. <laughs> yeah. Um Tsuyoshi looking around is a little overwhelmed by the amount of noises. You can hear the arcade sounds begin blaring upon walking through the entrance. Uh let me get my little oh i guess i don't have it on this one i have the arcade sounds from our old arcade rest in peace um is there any games in particular that you guys are particularly fond of 
Um, of course, Ryunosuke, upon Kosuke entering, you can see he grabs, or he grips your hand a little harder and points over. And he's like, look, they have, they have a DDR. Whoa. Uh, he looks at Kosuke and, like, waits for the look back. And they're like, you think what I'm thinking? Get ready to sweat. <laughs> hey, yo. Pause. Get ready to push it. <laughs> All right, so starting with Ichiro, oh, you perfect. walk up. Um, <laughs> there is a pinball machine that's currently being played by Akihiko. As you walk up beside him, uh, he is like, oh, hey, bud. Hey, what's your high score here? Um, zero. That's what it says. Uh, he... He keeps hitting the buttons, but there's no ball in play. Uh, do we need tokens? Did you forget to put you the look, tokens in? Do you want a little, a little perceiving? You want to look down at the machines? Yeah. The machines Ooh, are running on free right now. You can just press the start button. Uh, you can see leaning over that he also has the ball in the little like pullback shooting area where you would usually launch the ball into play and he just hasn't pushed it or hasn't hasn't necessarily pulled it uh, uh, you gotta I like gesture to it for him oh oh you're right um he presses it like a button and nothing happens and then he goes back like <laughs> oh, no, come on man you'll get it okay okay hold on hold on um alright how did it go uh bop it Twist it, pull it, and then he, and then he, oh, I ripped my headphones. Oh, no! Out. He pulls it back, uh, and you can see he finally gets it in play. He goes, "Oh shit!" Um, and then begins like oh, spamming. Oh shit. oh shit! Begins spamming the little ball, uh, like pin hitters, and the ball just goes through the middle. And he goes, "Whew, that was fun." Huh. Good job, man. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, Ch I can't read that. It says no spoil, only twenty eight. Bye. Have fun catching up. Uh, over by Homura. Homura, you walk towards the front, and you can see that there is, of course, a litany of prizes for you to receive. Yes, sir. Um, there is nobody behind the counter, and a bunch of prizes. Um, what, there's about what are they? forty prizes. Um, with ticket values. Do you want to look at them? Yeah. All right, so in ticket order, there's Bouncy Ball. <laughs> this is going to take a while. So while this is going on, Kosuke, you can prepare your, your song that you have picked to play DDR on. There's a Bouncy Ball, a Mini Puzzle Cube, Temporary Tattoos, Rubber Duck, Slap Bracelet, Sticker Sheet, Finger Puppets, Spiral Notebook, Magic Trick Set, Mini Slinky, Foam Glider Plane, Glow Stick Necklace, Whoopee Cushion, Finger Trap, Mini Sketchbook with Coloring Pencils, Water Balloon Launcher, Hacky Sack, Squishy Stress Ball, Mini Basketball Hoop Set, Holy LED... Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Chibi Potato, thank you for following. Uh, mini Basketball Hoop Set, LED Light Up Yo-Yo, Emoji Keychain, Mini Etch-A-Sketch, Mini Bluetooth Speaker, water, ball with, water Bottle with Straw, Fidget spinner, plush keychain, frisbee, digital watch, build your own robot kit, mini drone, Bluetooth earbuds, portable phone charger, 3D puzzle model kit, mod a board game, movie theater gift card, virtual reality headset, remote control car, game console controller, and sports jersey of your choice. Oh my god. <laughs> Hobra explodes. <laughs> yeah, eyes melt out of my head. What would you like to do? You wanna? Do you wanna steal any of it, or do How you wanna much? actually play? <laughs> How much was the VR headset? The VR headset is 190 tickets, but it's—I will say—it's one of those VR headsets that you have to put your smartphone into. Oh. <laughs> Walks away. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll start playing. Not okay. Interested. Uh, Kosuke, you and Ryunosuke are absolutely in gaming. What are you guys? What are you guys playing for your song? I've been struggling to think of an idea. Um, so I guess I'll just I'll just say 
Do you want Do you want Reno's kid to be? Oh, oh, dramaturgy. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say Ryunosuke is gonna pick the next one, um, but as you cue it up and the guitar begins playing, Ryunosuke does the like hand over the shoulder, hand over the shoulder stretch, uh, and then like pulls his leg up, uh, leans back on the bar, and you guys are gonna give me tempo checks. Yes, sir. I hope we don't get <laughs> claimed for this, but. <laughs> Well, you definitely will if you're playing fucking <laughs> That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I, well, alright, it's not like we're making money, I just hope it doesn't make me cut out the... the whole thing. There's other things playing, hopefully it doesn't we get don't need it. We can sing it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, 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 Um, we're gonna have... I'm gonna do Ryanosuke's tempo check. Um, you guys both need a... Two, oh, wow, Ryanosuke, uh, playing next to you. He keeps bumping into you as you're playing, um, and is getting very frustrated as he keeps getting like, Good! 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 Miss! Good! Miss! Um, until finally, I'm like, near the end of the song, he just steps off. You are killing it, however. You are just uh, tearing it up. You're getting perfect, 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 perfect combo. Uh, you don't end it with like an S, but you end it with a, a solid A. Um, Ryunosuke, frustrated, not red faced. It's just like, I'm out of practice. No, with the arcade gone, it's not easy. Um, I want to pick the next song. Uh, you don't want to? No, I, he wants to pick the next song. Oh, yeah. It was going to be your choice anyway. He seems to uh, enjoy that you're offering it up with no re you know, resistance uh, and is going to play... Let's see. What would Ryunosuke play? Mm. Probably... Uh, he boots up simple and clean Ooh. and is like, all right, I'm going to take it seriously. Stands next to you. All right. That's what I like to hear. Ooh, and is, <laughs> you know, when they're just like vibing, he's not even looking at the screen half the time now. He's just feeling the vibe. Um... And he begins, like, giggling and laughing. Uh, a little bit ha- Actually, I would say a little bit. A lot happier. Uh, and as that's going on, you can see- I, Yeah, I got a 13. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. You guys are fucking destroying okay, yeah. it. Um, the song continues, and you can hear, Having fun! Um, from behind you. Yes! <laughs> are you- Are you a <laughs> leaning on the back bar kind of player? Yes. Alright. He goes- that's good to hear. I'm assuming it's going well, and he puts a hand on your uh, shoulder. Uh, and it it stays there for a little bit longer than you sh would be comfortable with. Um, Kosuke, yeah. he <laughs> holds it there for, like, five seconds too long. And I wanted to ask, do you, like, turn around? Uh, or, like, look at him at any point? Uh, yeah, like, do, like, a quick, like, like, quick spotty looks behind to try and keep looking at the screen, but... Uh, his eyes are wide open, and in his irises, you can see something flashing by. Uh, his hand lets go, and he, like, steps back. Oh, someone said five seconds. I meant five seconds too long. It was more like 15 seconds. And without saying a word, he steps back as if he's, like, lost his balance and goes, What is going on today? That's not right. That's not right at all. Oh. Um, 
and uh-huh. holds his head for a moment, and he like lurches over to one of the walls to get support. Uh, he pulls out his phone, and as he pulls out his phone, you realize that the song is coming to a close. You have about 60 seconds until the next song is to be picked. Uh, and you can see he's reaching over onto, and, like, and calling somebody. Uh, if you want to... If you want to do a little sneaky perceiving and eavesdrop, you can. But if you don't want to, then you'd be able to pick the next song. Are you? Is Kosuke interested in what's going on, or like put off by this guy? Yeah. Um, all right, Ryunosuke kind of gives you a shove of like, are you gonna pick? Uh, uh you, you you can you can pick again. <gasps> really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Try and perceive. Uh, Bonuses. Ooh, 13. dude, thirteen. Uh, hold on. As he's you like peek over, uh, he's looking away. Um, do you want to move a little closer on the on the board? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just like lean, cause I'm not trying to move. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Kyoshi, I'm telling you, that's not. I, I swear, I saw it. I saw them again. No, I, I know, I know. It wasn't his perspective either. It wasn't. I swear to you. I'm not lying. I saw them. I saw you again. That's right. Third year. Third year. Years ago. This was so much longer. I remember what you looked like. And it, yeah. Them too. They were still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Something's wrong. All right. All right. We'll talk later. Uh, and he closes his phone. He turns back to, to you guys. He's sweating a little bit now. Uh, Look, as I notice him turning around, I'm going to snap back to the game. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, you should be good. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, if you need anything, just shout. Uh, and he, like, saunters over and walks outside. Uh, a naturalist. <laughs> uh, Ryunosuke, as he's like looking through, he asks, "Did something happen?" Uh, yeah. Kind of confusing. All right. Well, I've picked the next song. Shiawase by Omoi Nantake. Omoi no Take. Uh. It's just a really good song, but it's also the Hori Mia opening for the second season. <laughs> um, it's very slow, and it is a lot more like it's a lot more slice of lifey, uh, and it requires a lot more precise steps. So go ahead, give me tempo. Ryunosuke does succeed this check. All right. A little put off by what's been going on, Kosuke, I'm assuming, is is just kind of, like, unable to focus purely. And is keep getting... He gets some perfects and goods with a fair amount of miss. Miss. Um, the song concludes after a little bit. And at the end of it, Ryunosuke starts kind of tugging at you in a, like, are you sure you're okay? Something about. I'm gonna. He, after he touched me, he said something about seeing. He touched you. Uh, Weird. He, yeah, I, I mean, I guess he tapped my shoulder. Oh. For like oh, okay. A couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> he looks confused, yeah, but is. Well, yeah. I was, I was, I was gonna say. 
you saw it. You said something about seeing clean night from some perspective. What, like... Like, I don't even know what that could mean. Like, Hello. he's looking at him from, like, a camera? Maybe. Oh. But he said it wasn't from my perspective. So oh. As if it was supposed to be. That's weird. Uh, okay. Um, we don't have to play anymore if something, you know, if you aren't feeling up to it. Yeah, could we, could we play, like, House of the Dead? Yeah, 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 of course. He, like, grabs, he grabs your hand, and he does a, like, as you, he, he, <laughs> he doesn't really give you an option, but he interlaces your hands, and then he uses his thumb to kind of, like, gently be like, it's okay, they're there. Like, uh, he's not sure how <laughs> to comfort someone, but it has been done to him before. Uh, but yeah. Ichiro, are yeah. you playing? Oh, I should say, uh, oh yeah, I forgot they are connected. Um, Ichiro, are you playing pinball? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can I get a reaction time? Oh god. Five seconds. Uh, eight. All right. Yeah, you do fairly well, dude. You can hear the ting, 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 ting. Uh, it goes round. Uh, you successfully gain about ten tickets. You can, you have three more balls if you want to continue. Yeah. Sh- or sorry, you got an eight. You got, yeah, eight tickets. Sorry. Give me another reaction time. Or just, if you want to do both checks, at, uh, it, like, in a row... That'll be your total tickets. Um, okay, wait. Sorry, what check? A uh, reaction time. Like you're trying to hit the ball at the correct time. Well, bam. Um, um, another bam, eight tickets. And if you bam, crit, bam, bam. you get the jackpot. Or I guess the, the high score bonus. Damn! You did crit! Or no, wait. You just got... Okay, do you have any bonuses to reaction time? I don't think so. Aw. Nah. Hold on. Um, oh, I'm struggling so hard. No. I... Okay. So you just get uh, around 28 tickets total. Akihiko, <laughs> ha- who has, from each ball, pulled it back. It shoots around and then immediately goes into, like, falls into the center. He's like, damn, dude. How are you doing so well? I love pinball. <laughs> oh, pinball. Pinball Chiro. <laughs> yeah, my horns Ooh. turn into pinball machines. <laughs> yeah, you you start flicking them up and down. <laughs> yeah, they're paddles. <laughs> you eat the pinballs. Uh, yeah, if you want, you can take them over and redeem a prize. Uh, Shay. Homer is playing the ski ball. Yes. All right. Go ahead and give me. Ooh, this is a tough one. Oh. Give me me everything check. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, everything. (laughs) Give me athletics. Nine. Nine. What did you get, Shay? Sorry. Nine. Nine? Nine? All right. You get about 900 points, uh, which translates to nine tickets. Go ahead and give me... You have... Actually, you know what, Shay? Your... What is your technique? Three. All right. We're going to play this a little different. You are going to multiply, you're going to roll 8d6 for the 8 balls you have, and you are going to multiply the total of it by 3. This is 8d6? 8d6. Unless you want to cheat. 
Damn. All right. Girl. So 60 tickets. Homer has just dual hand, shoom, 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 uh, throwing these down the little alleyway. Uh, you're landing in the middle, the like bottom, and then uh, the top. You get like two in the top. Absolutely slam. Uh, with 60 tickets, you claim them. Do you want to go to the, the counter and buy anything? Uh, yeah. What would you like to get? I actually have... Did you send No, the but list? I, I am going to send it. It's in order of... Uh... The cost. So it should be easy to move throughout. You can get up to the foam glider plane. <laughs> <laughs> As you are, like, searching throughout... Ichiro, did you want to go to the claim encounter, or do you want to go to another area? Um... Let me... Oh, shit. Excuse <laughs> me, guys. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Basketball. the... Hoopchiro! That shame. I'm ballin'. Ballchiro? <laughs> <laughs> Roll to ball. Uh... Shay, as you're selecting, slinky. you're getting a slinky. Mm -hmm. Excellent choice, Miss Yoshino. Uh, Who said that? <laughs> you turn around. Hello. Are you Scottish? It's a bit rude. No, nah, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Of course I'm Scottish. No, uh, I'm just really bad at accents. He's he's a little mixed. I'm trying my best to, to imitate, but I'm also, I have not heard the person I'm imitating in a hot second, so he may change because I'm a bad DM. <laughs> 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 Miss Yoshino, a slinky. You didn't want to save up and get anything else. I figured we wouldn't be here for that long. Yes, but you'll be coming around. You'll have your free time. Can I see it? Uh, and he holds a hand out. Can I see it? I hand him my slinky. Uh, he, as you place it in his hand, puts his hand over top uh, of yours. And once again, I say once again, like you witness this. But as he does it, uh, think of uh, someone putting their hand out fl uh, flat palm. Um, and then... You put the slinky with your palm facing down into his hand, and then he puts his mm -hmm. other hand over top of yours. And he goes, thank you. And you can see in his eyes uh, flashes, flashes of different images. And it lasts for a little bit longer than you're comfortable with. Uh, and once again, c like confusion and awe strikes his face. Uh, and... After it finishes and you see his eyes return to this neon green, he's like, oh, oh, no. Um, he <laughs> pulls it away. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Unfortunate. Is, is, sorry, sorry. Uh, and he actually proceeds to do a little slinky trick where he throws one side over his shoulder and w uh, throws his hand behind his back and catches it. Yeah, I had many of these when I was your age. Uh, Miss Yoshino... Odd question. Um, have you ever heard of the hero, the Scarlet Striker? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Um, and Miss Yoshino, did you have any parents that attended UA? Uh,. No. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry, I don't mean to throw odd questions at you. I'll leave you alone. Uh, and he puts the slinky back in your hand, but makes careful not to touch your skin. Um, and walks off. He looks, you can see he looks at Ichiro and wipes his brow of sweat and then just keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> Um. All you right. Cannot handle my balling swag. <laughs> you are also balling right now. Ichiro, give me an athletics check. Damn! 
Adam! Three ones! <laughs> the f I am not balling. <laughs> uh, all right. The first one is no basket. Uh, you absolutely, like, whiff. It, it doesn't, like, fly out of the cage. It just kind of falls down. You give me, give me two more athletics checks, and we will multiply these by your power. Uh, 13. That's great. Uh, you make the second basket. Nothing but net. 13 times... How much is your power? Uh, four. Damn. So... 39. Uh, 52 tickets so far. And then your last one. Wow. 12. 12. 12. Uh, so 52 tickets along with 48, 48 tickets. 48? I'm balling! Uh, it's times four. So 100 tickets total. You are slam dunking these nothing but net. You actually break the new high score. Each, each roll 100. <laughs> Zombies breakthrough. Do you want to go to the ticket counter? Yeah. All right. I ball over. Uh, you can get up to the mini basketball hoop set. Wow. Well, it only seems fair that I would, right? Yeah. Are you going to get it? Of course. I need to continue this streak. Go for it. Hello, my good sir. To whom there's nobody here. Yeah, you, you simply... I think you guys are doing the honor system of putting the tickets in a little basket and then like going behind the counter and uh like taking the prize for yourself okay um, all I, right uh have a cool ball <laughs> he's balling balchiro uh all right he walks over to Amara and places a hand on her shoulder uh, as she's, like, doing uh, a little bit of crane gaming. You can see his reaction is a lot less disdainful slash a lot more calm than the others. Uh, where is she? He looks over at her and gives her like a, a very hearty smile and says something that you guys cannot hear from where you're standing um and goes he he gives like a, a clap as well actually he's about to do that but kosuke rinosuke you guys give me reaction times i say you guys like i'm not the one doing it but but there's going to be two reaction time checks and this is to do shooting uh, reaction time is in speed. Another. All right. Ryunosuke does fairly well. He's not as good. He's very tired from dancing, but just. Uh, and he is the first out. Kosuke, how do you do? Which check is it? Precision? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, actually, that would make a lot more sense. Fuck it. Do precision. He's using his reaction time because I already rolled, but. Sorry, is there a... It's precision and technique. Or actually... Oh, yeah, 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 there. Is it? I, said, I, I lost it. Yeah, it's there. I was gonna say, we didn't, we didn't edit it, did we? Yeah, no. I'm just a silly goose. You're just a silly little man. Yeah, I need to shoot things more. I have such good precision. <laughs> yeah. I need to start shoot. 18. I think we meant to move precision over to speed. <laughs> Oh, yes, no, I have an old sheet. Is it in speed? The, uh, yeah, I just have the old, the original print. Where it's in technique? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I don't think role, we edited it. The role it. would have been exactly the same, by the way. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's no, we should, we should probably edit that. Damn! All right. Sheesh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're cooked. Uh, what, what's your speed? Wait, that's a, that's a crit. Yeah, okay. It's three dice. So you team. you clock in with 200 tickets at the end, beating the game for the first time and setting off a little alarm that scares the fuck out of Ryunosuke at first. Uh, but as it starts spitting out tickets, uh, Ryunosuke is like, oh, oh my god, oh my god! 
um, and like is like runs around for a hot sec before coming back over to you, and you collect your tickets. I just stare at the toy gun for a little bit. Yeah. In awe of my raw talent. <laughs> Damn, I'm kind of based. I think I need a shooty thing. All right. Do you want to scooch on over to the ticket counter with Rinosuke? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, man, how much did I even get here? Two hundo. Mm -hmm. So you can buy up to the game console controller. Or several other things. Let's see, let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, I forgot. There's supposed to be candy available for five tickets, but it's oh. like it's like party pieces. You know what I mean? Like the like the I'm one bite the, Snickers. I'm gonna get the Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, and then you'll have thirty-five 35. tickets left. Yes, and then uh, I'll get a. <laughs> this is actually tough. I'll get a, yeah, I'll get a mini puzzle cube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh... Oh, he loves his puzzle cube. Bro loves his puzzle cube. Uh, and then give me, uh, four pieces of candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryunosuke is going to take a, f like, or hold his hand out like he's expecting one of the pieces of candy. Uh, oh, yeah, I give but him then... two pieces of candy. Oh! He gives you, he does the like fingers touching together, like turns into the emoji almost. He's so excited. Uh, and finally you hear Soul Doctor, all right, we're gonna be moving on to the next area. Are we all ready? Um, to which Siyoshi, Amara, and Akihiko are like, woo, yeah. Um, Akihiko's like, oh man, I can't wait to go home. Uh, and like runs out the door. <laughs> And uh, as everyone else is walking by, he kind of pulls you guys aside. And he's like, he's, is he always like that? Uh, For the most part, yeah. Sure. yeah. He doesn't. Uh, no, I'm, he, not, I'm not quite sure. How he he stops Kosuke for a moment as you guys are leaving. Um, and Ryunosuke, of course, stops uh -huh. with you. But he goes, uh, could you, could the rest of you give me a minute with um, Mr. Ojiro? Uchiro. Um, and Reno's case, like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, I don't, it's, 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 I wasn't asking. I'm telling you to, to go outside for a moment. Who are you? Simple and clean. <laughs> Is the way that you're making me feel tonight. <laughs> Clean night moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ryunosuke is holding on to your hand and gives you, like, a look of, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm good. He knows Clean Night. <sighs> okay. Uh, and he leaves. And then you can see from, like, the doorway that it's, like, half cracked open. And he's watching yeah. you. Kosuke, I meant to ask earlier, but you were a bit preoccupied. Do you, um... Yeah. Do you happen to know uh, a hero by the name Cold Shift? Uh... No? Uh, never mind that. Uh, did you... Did your parents happen to attend UA High School when they were younger? I honestly can't remember in my lore. Well, no, I, it, even if they did, uh, he's more so asking, like, did you ever, like, go to UA High School when you were younger? Uh, like, take a uh, visit, even. Uh, no, I didn't really get taken a tour any places. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's all, that's all. P uh, please, let's get out of here. And he guides you out careful to avoid Ichiro and uh, Ryunosuke for the time being. Alright! Next area! To the warehouse! Woo! It's gonna be much more fun than this exciting arcade. Um, with me! 
and he, like, is, I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys, but yeah. copy you all at the same time. Uh, copy. Er. Er. Uh, and There's then. A pirate in my house. There's a pirate in my house. <laughs> my house is infested with pirates. Dude, I hear them. What a horrible the problem to have. They scream. Would you rather it's have really fucking annoying because every fourth sound is a. From what? Peg leg. Oh yeah. <laughs> peg leg. The deg leg. Ooh, the jitter bug. Jitter bug. Uh, hold on. Uh, while you guys are traveling, is there any conversations had between the RGB members and their confusion? Yeah. Who is this fucking guy? That guy's a fucking freak. Yeah, he asked me oh. if... Omer, like, that's a bit rough, don't you think? He asked me if I ever went to UA before. Weird. Well, we do. He asked if I had a parent that went to UA. He did also already... He did also ask me that. Huh. Do you guys I don't know, know why this is so important? Scarlet Strikers. Who? That's what I said. He asked if I knew who that was. No. I mean, I don't. sounds fake, right? Kind of. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I guess now that you put the idea into my head, yeah. All right, <clears throat> you guys arrive at this storage facility in pretty good time. Uh, you do have to come in through one of the entrances near the back road, uh, simply because this is like a, a facility that they use for, oh, not right there. That wouldn't really be useful. Um, he goes, all right. This facility is where we house all of the food, the bedding, things that you would need for repairs. Uh, think in the arcade. This is where we keep all of the uh, prizes for your dormitory or your rooms. This is where we keep the food, the bedding, the cleaning supplies. Any machinery that we have here in this facility has replacement parts that you can find here. Um... So let's do a little walk around. Um, I'm going to attach people to you guys. Uh, let's stay in groups. So seeing as there's an odd amount of you, I will take uh, one of you with me. Um, this young lad seems to be more than capable. Uh, and so she's like, no, no, I can go with myself if you don't mind. Um, and he goes, excuse me? And he goes, yep. Uh, and then, yep. And then, yep, uh, and several <laughs> other Tsuyoshis appear. One of them is actually a little bit more like, yep. Um, oh, that's oddly perfect. All right. Off we go. And then he uh, walks over and punches in a little gate code that opens it up. Uh, so you guys can walk through. Um, so go ahead. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot to tag uh -huh. these on to you. Wait. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait. 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 Everyone gets a buddy. Wait. All right, and then I'm just gonna. I don't need to tag him because he's all together. Uh, Homura, Kosuke, Ichiro, you guys can move. Um, Ichiro, if you don't mind, would you come here for a moment? Uh, okay. All right. Which one of these things is oh, the door? Ichiro's turn. <laughs> I'm Ichiro. Come here, son. You are a uh, he, he. You are like the size of, if not a little bigger than him. Um. So he he kind of is like, oh, you're a big boy. Nah, I'm Ichiro. <laughs> <laughs> he puts a hand and he goes, "Yes, you are." Oh, no, I can't tell. I think uh, his door. eyes. Oh, the the door is around over here on the bottom side. Okay. Um, so you guys oh, can, the or you can go yeah, in through the, yeah. yeah, I would say you can also go in through these, uh, loading crate, like dock areas, yeah. like over here. Uh, you see, Oop. he stops for a moment, um, and his eyes start flashing and Akihiko goes, oh, is this guy okay? He's bugging. <laughs> bro's, bro's tweaking. Um, I'm going to move Tsuyoshi inside. 
Uh, but as his eyes begin like flickering and flickering, uh, and he stops for a moment, uh, he goes, "That's what I was afraid of." Uh, anyways, Mr. Cobb and I feel free to carry on. I I'll talk to you at the end of our journey here. Should be all set though. Um, go ahead. Um, and stop. Oh, oh, hi, Captain. I have to make oh, a call. Hello, Akiko. <laughs> hey, bud. Glad where, we where, were sticking together. Where are we going? No clue. Me neither. Um, all right. Homer, who Crash has... can. <laughs> ah! No! All right. Homer. Kosuke, go ahead and move on. Um, Ichiro, you and Akihiko moving over to the trash can. You open up the dumpster, and there's it's just cardboard. Oh, that's rather clean. <sighs> Forklift. This place, the we should drive it. Factory? Drive we should it. go to the cardboard factory. <laughs> no, I want to drive the forklift. Buddy, you are not allowed to do it. <laughs> Where are we? The cardboard, the cardboard factory. Cardboard factory, I believe. <laughs> you know, Ske, uh, as you guys are moving, is like, did he? What did he say? Is, did he do anything to you? <laughs> Ichiro and in no. Akihiko are sitting on it as it's like, me, <laughs> like carrying them through the facility. This is great. I haven't done this since the airport. Oh, we are packages. <laughs> Guess ground. That's the package grinder. No! <laughs> no! Akiko! <laughs> you guys get turned into packages. You can see the little horns coming out of the side. Uh, I don't know. It seemed more like he did something to himself. <clears throat> I, I don't really know a lot of Clean Knight's friends, but... I mean, like, should I ask him? Maybe he could tell us something. I mean... I don't know. I guess, I guess he has been pretty openly weird to clean you should probably expect that someone noticed clean I guess it wouldn't be weird? the worst thing oh no uh the old doctor oh i mean yeah he's definitely given off odd vibes but i'm scared if i ask clean he might get mad or not tell me but mm. i'm more curious than i am scared He's, he definitely is seeing something when he touches people. Oh, what do you think he's seeing? Uh, you said he saw some perspective, but it wasn't yours, so what could it be? Um, Ryanosuke also, at this point, is going to pull out his phone. And he's like, oh, um, yeah, I don't have this place's Wi-Fi, and it doesn't look like we have service. Do you think we should just wait till we get back? Uh, I don't know. I think I might have an idea. Okay. Well, I'm all ears. I'm not literally all ears, but, like, I have ears. I'm listening. I'm partially listening. I also have music playing. He's got, like, a headphone in. I don't know. He just keeps mentioning the past, so I can only assume it's memories. Yeah, but... He's seeing things that you don't remember, right? Yeah. He begins pacing kind of nervously. <laughs> um, while that conversation's going on, uh, Shay, Amara, and Homura uh, <laughs> are, like, moving through. Um, uh, and Amara's like, <clears throat> Homura, do you think I could test some material on you <laughs> go for it all right i'm trying to do a little bit of crowd work right yeah but uh, not really a crowd sorry. here I'll be right back. so i was thinking some observational humor all right <clears throat> she like does the little like hand over the face like scene uh oh, i heard working in a warehouse is a palatable job and then <laughs> huh good 
I don't see any pallets here, though. Fuck. I mean, fuck. Oh. She's like, that's right, there's no one around here. I tried to organize a pun competition in the warehouse, but it was a sh it was a self-destructing matter. Fuck. No, I like that one more. Oh, okay, okay. That was a good one. All right, all right. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> she's stressing. Like, she's yeah, she's stressing. You can see her makeup starting to run. Just stressing herself out. <laughs> Working in a warehouse is tons of fun. L literally. Because <laughs> cause there's tons of... <laughs> um... Oh, uh, she like is like flipping through note cards. <laughs> <laughs> warehouse humor, warehouse humor. Um, maybe we should explore more, and that'll give you inspiration. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she begins moving through. Uh, why did the box go to therapy? Why? Because it. Huh. Cause it had too many <laughs> Cause it had too many issues to contain. Ta da! Alright, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> um What's a crate's favorite form of working out? Whatever that whatever that honking thing is, I love it. <laughs> that's what, that's what Kosuke <laughs> yells from across the warehouse. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know what's honking, <laughs> but I love honking. <laughs> Did you hear her? I mean, maybe. Me? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Homura, yeah. Oh. What's a crate's favorite form of exercise? Oh, no, I didn't hear. Boxing. <laughs> oh. True. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love the fucking emulating the the. Uh, why did the box bring a ladder to the party? I don't know why. Cause it heard the drinks were on the top shelf. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can just tell me it sucks. <laughs> she like like sits down on the the ladder or the steps. Homer's just not a big laugher. You're trying too hard. <laughs> Wait till you feel inspired. It's been tough. Balancing hero work and being the funniest one in the class. It's not easy. <laughs> I mean, just look at me. I got puns rolling out my ears. And then she begins, like, pulling note cards out of her ear one by one. Um, <laughs> they're all... By the way, terrible humor. You see one of them reads like, why did the box break up with the envelope? Because their relationship was too one-dimensional. Um, overall, just some, some great humor. Do you have any... <laughs> she's just sitting... I'm sorry. I, I do have anything for her, but realistically, she's just sitting there. She... Womp. I don't know. You laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did like that bit. Uh, any words of encouragement for her? Stop trying so hard. Just be yourself. Mm. You think? What if I'm yeah, too... Yeah, dude, you're pretty naturally funny. What if I get too funny? <laughs> and people start giving me sure around for I... just jokes. Uh, that's a good point, I guess. I don't think that'll happen, though. Mm. Yeah, you'll probably be okay. Uh, she goes, all right, all right, one more, one more. Um, this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a little crowd work, all right? So, anyone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, anyone into medals? You. Uh, she points at Homer. Me. I like metal. Oh, awesome. What did the metal say to the magnet? I don't know. <sighs> You're very attractive. Uh, and then she, as she looks at you, she starts like floating towards you, like um, like uh, she's being metallic or ma magnetically to like pulled towards you. <laughs> <laughs> does Homer laugh or does she pity laugh her? Yeah. Yes. Homer chuckles. <laughs> okay. Uh, she puts an arm around Homer. She's like, I like you, Homer. You tell it how it is. You're very <laughs> ironclad. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. Um, I thought about making a joke about metal, but it was a little too heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you guys want to explore any of the like boxes you can open anything up yeah can i just want to start opening shit Pakiko? is there is, yes is there anything downstairs give me a power check oh wait no this whole thing is upstairs okay i see yeah, um, yeah uh alex give me a power check to unbox akihiko and shay are you, you're just unboxing stuff yeah all right what were you saying alex or alex how, how, is there a way to get into this dark area from inside? Yeah, there's uh Okay, okay. These That's are fine. doors if you want to move through. Uh Sir? Alex, what'd you get for strength? Sixteen. Yeah, you Holy 16. You grab both sides of the box and rip it open. Uh and uh Aki he goes like <gasps> oh! oh my god. Are we home yet? <laughs> I don't like this place. No. <laughs> uh he are you, i assume you just are like i assume you either got out of your box first or right now you are you are like uh when people put their arms and legs through a box but they're still in the box <laughs> like yeah a, <laughs> you're just running around your horns are coming out of the box but your head isn't fully out oh my god box man i love your songs You guys... Mosh heads in the chat? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> if anyone got that, I'd be shocked. Dude, uh, how many people here are old enough to know Boxman? <laughs> uh, Shay, what do you want to open? Give me a D twenty. You're you're opening up random boxes. Mhm. Mm well. All right. Uh, you pry open the box with Amara, uh, and. You guys look inside. There is helmets, goggles, gloves, harnesses, etc. This is a box of safety equipment. Tweet. Um. And she pulls off one of the like little helmets. She's like, "Look." Uh, and then hits herself on the head. Uh. And goes. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Why did the construction worker wear his he hard hat to the dinner party? I don't know why. He heard the conversations might get roof. What? Fuck! <laughs> you can't eat your <laughs> Throws the hard hat on the ground. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been <laughs> eavesdropping this whole time. I thought that was Homer that. saying what? Like she just didn't get it. <laughs> Uh, this drops 10 million octaves. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to keep opening other packages? Yeah. And Ichiro, do you want to move with Akihiko somewhere? Yeah, we got to get out of here, buddy. Mm. Well, if isn't my old pack, Coast Cat. <laughs> want to check out this Hello. room? Fuck yeah. All right. You should operate this forklift. What? Someone Operate should get on the forklift. forklift. Operate this forklift. <laughs> you jump onto the forklift. Do you want to try and hardwire it? Yeah. Amara's going to sit on the back. Uh, Kosuke, you can enter if you'd like. 
Um, oh, okay. Ichiro, did you want to enter? Yeah, looks nice. All right. Entering the facility, you guys see that there are several storage containers with various letters and, uh, like, m I want to say smaller shipping industrial stuff. This is, like, tape, uh, boxes to sort letters. There is paper clips, as well as, in the back, a litany of different materials used for shipping and writing labels. Do you oh. want to investigate, find any items you might want to take or just uh move throughout yeah I'll, I'll look on this shelf peek around all right uh inside you find there is a fire extinguisher as well as scissors and uh letters that are unused for you to like send out letters um ichiro did you and akihiko want to search or move, yeah move into a different room uh, is oh wait, this is a door, right? Yeah. Open that up, Akigo. Uh, Akigo is opening the door. Poof, opens it up. Sir, there's more doors. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, <laughs> he tro what my worst he enemy. Private? Doors. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there's he turns. No way to know what's behind one. <laughs> And I already don't know so much. <laughs> Sir, permission to open these doors with force. Aye, aye. He reels back, and you can see he's starting to produce a giant fist with his quirk. And here comes a giant fist! Uh, <laughs> do you stop him, or are you just going to let him rip? Not go for it. Uh, he punches straight through the door at the end of the room, shattering it. Uh, to which you hear, whoa, whoa, whoa! What is going on? Uh, and he runs in. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Tokushintai, what are you doing? Uh, Akihiko turns and goes, I don't know. Uh, and turns to Ichiro and goes, Mr. Kobunai, what is happening? What the door was locked. The door was... The... So you... So you break it down? You could have asked... Thing. Oh my god. Mr. Taco Tentai, come here! And he Who grabs are you. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like Akihiko for a moment. He grabs hold of Akihiko, and for a moment, you see the lights flash in his eyes, and he goes, "Oh, oh, oh! I'm, I'm so sorry, Mr. Taco Tentai. Come here!" Uh, and he moves him aside and goes, "Forget what I said. Um, you're all right. It's uh, accidents happen." Uh, just know, your grandfather would not like this if you were destroying property on a government facility. And Akihiko goes, oh man. Uh, he goes, Grandpappy's going to be so mad at me. <laughs> Sorry, not. All right, Akihiko. <laughs> Aw, look what you did. <laughs> look what you did. Um... Uh, and he goes, all right, Akihiko, I need you to make a promise with me. And Akihiko goes, anything. I need you to promise me you're not going to cause any more structural damage unless there is ample reason. Um, and he goes, I promise. And then he leans over to uh, Ichiro as he's got like his hand over his heart. And he goes, Ichiro, who is this guy? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> That's enough. My name is William... But you will refer to me as Soul Doctor until the end warp, of this expedition. Warp, warp, warp. <laughs> did you just warp, warp me? <laughs> warp, warp. Yeah, did, I'm sorry, did you just warp, warp? I love that fucking clip. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll be following you two to make sure you don't get into any more trouble. Um, come on, Ichiro. And he grabs hold of you kind of unknowingly for a moment, uh, and his eyes flash a little bit fast this time and goes, oh, Ichiro? Yep. You have a lot of siblings, so I am sure that you might know this, but you should keep those who are unaware of the dangers of this kind of damage in line. Think about it if you were one of your siblings and something were to happen, like a door cave over and, and, and hit them. Or hurt them. Treat Akihiko like he was one of your siblings. Uh, and then he continues walking down the hallway. Which one? 
<laughs> one of the younger ones. Fair enough. All right, baby. Akihiko <laughs> 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 okay, like straight. He's like, stop. No, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. You guys gonna move through? Yes. Look Am I successful? Oh yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. What were you trying to do? Oh yes. What did you get for your? I'm trying to operate. Tech education. What am I rolling? Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Sixteen. You, you hear it. beep beep <laughs> as the forklift whirs to life. Um, Kosuke, as you're walking towards the door, you hear "Oh no!" Uh, and a man, the man, busts out the door <laughs> and then like scurries past <laughs> you guys. Uh, Shay. I don't have the forklift as a Back, PNG, yep. but <laughs> go ahead and draw with the marker where, like, you're taking this thing. You can move it around 45 feet from your position. Um, <laughs> forklift certified. Where do you want to take this You still just thing? go straight. You just go, go straight? All right. Yeah. Uh, so it would go 35 it, and like, then... around the corner. Yeah. Uh, and we'll move you guys appropriately. Like um, towards Tsuyoshi. Yeah, Tsuyoshi. I was gonna say as you round the corner, <laughs> Tsuyo the Tsuyoshi's all go whoop uh, and like jump up onto the side of it. Um, he is like chasing after you, but he only gets to where you guys were. Or he's like, Miss Yoshino, you know you can't be doing this. Uh, as he's chasing you, and Amara just is just <laughs> laughing maniacally as you're moving through. Uh, Kosuke, while that's going on, Kosuke, where did you guys want to move to? And Ichiro. Uh, I want to move into... Woo? The f I, I think these are two separate rooms. They are. Like this, this one. Sure. All right. You move into the, what appears to be a break room. There is a small uh, fridge, toaster, coffee maker, a sink, microwave, some cupboards, chairs, lounge chairs, uh, and a trash for you to enjoy you want you can go in and there is you know snacks oh real oh my god uh <laughs> you both open up the like break room fridge and there is the pre-made i want to say for the sake of explaining what it is like there's pre-made dunkin donuts and starbucks coffees of various flavors there's uh cartons of milk and water as well as uh cookies put in on the top of the counter there is donuts and coffee has been ready made. Um, Ryunosuke turns to you and is like, Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe. What are what are you thinking? Ko <laughs> Kosuke? <laughs> Hold on. Kosuke, I I that can't actually a, read your mind. That was a bit Yeah, that was a bit. <laughs> I know. Also, uh, what, what, what were the first couple of things? Uh, there's like the little. I guess, I guess just reread it. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, the pre-made coffees available. Cartons of milk, water. Sh there's cookies laid in the fridge. Uh, there is donuts on the counter, as well as pre-made coffee sitting, like hot coffee, in a little coffee maker. Yeah. You can also raid uh, the cupboards for other snacks. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was thinking cookies and milk. Oh. Cookie party. <laughs> what were you thinking? I was thinking donut party, but I think we were close enough. I mean, they're close enough. They're synonymous. No one could tell us the difference, realistically. I mean, have you ever dunked a donut in milk? Do you want to try? I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's It, like, cuts, and it's you guys sitting in, like, the lounge chairs. Oh. I say you guys sitting in, like, the lounge chairs, like, feeding each other cookies and donuts dunked in milk. <laughs> Wait. Uh, the, idea of a, the idea of a whole donuts not a whole donut but like a, 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 i know i know but <laughs> that, that is really awful is like horrendous yeah it's i would say they're like <laughs> chocolate glazed if anything like where it's fully oh, like chocolate powdered donut oh no <laughs> <laughs> ichiro akihiko where are you guys headed uh i see this water cooler i'm quite thirsty mm. Uh, Akihiko asks you to get him a little sip of water. You... Of course. Shh. 
You hand him the cup. Sure, you, f- sure, sure, sure. you fill up your cup, and then he asks, "Can I also get a cup?" Uh, yeah. You hand it back to him. He's holding two cups of water, um, both full. <laughs> and then he, do you go back and make your own, or? Uh, yeah. He just keeps asking you for them. You gotta, you gotta drink those ones you got first. Oh. Go, go, go. Ah. Oh, I want water. Can I get one of those? You just, you just uh, forever fill him. You just keep feeding him yeah. water. <laughs> yeah. Give me that cup. Oh, of course. And he hands you. They're like the little like cone cups that hold like no water. Do you want to? How long? How long do you think Ichiro would entertain this before he's like, I can't keep doing this? Uh, yeah. You know what? Give me those cups. <laughs> okay. You're good. You're all set. Okay. Um, Ichiro. Yeah. What's up? Could I? Um. Can I get some of that water? Oh, are you thirsty? Yeah, I haven't had anything to drink. I, I think it's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Homura, as you're driving around the corner, you hear all three of the Tsuyoshis, uh, or I guess the Ichigos, being like, Whoa! Beep, beep! Uh, you can move another 35 feet if you want. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Go ahead and drive us uh, in the direction you're taking. You hear a what sounds like someone vaulting off of something uh and finally the soul doctor has like leapt into the air and acrobatics himself onto the uh top of this crate casing he front flips over onto the second one and then finally uh dives onto the back with amara and he goes hello miss choco uh and like grabs hold of homura's hand uh, which is holding the wheel and then using the other one uh, rips the wire out from underneath it and goes, all right, I think we've had enough fun. Uh, and as he's holding Yo, onto it, uh, he, his eyes begin flashing. And Shay, can you give me a perception check? Yeah. Oh, in his oh, eye, 11. you see a flash of something... Uh, let me actually make sure that I'm describing this correctly. Oh, fucking course I didn't put it on here. Uh, in his eye, you see a flash of red hair and red eyes with silver hands. Uh, and you recognize it as your mom. And then finally, he's like, Miss Yoshino, I understand that things are frustrating at home, but that doesn't mean you need to cause problems for the rest of the us. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's real bold. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind stepping off the forklift. Uh, do, I, I, I do want to ask, does Homer say anything in response to that, or is she like mouth ajar? No, I think she'd go, the fuck? <laughs> hey, alright. I may be a... T- <laughs> we may not be well acquainted but that kind of language is definitely still not appropriate uh come on it's time to head back we've caused enough trouble uh and he guides you and amara and he calls out all right team we're heading back for the day uh and is trying to gather you all up at least in the middle area of this massive complex uh you guys gonna go ahead and meet him over here? Yeah, let's let's cut through the room we haven't seen. Yeah. Cut through the room? Alright. Uh which one? There is a men's and a women's bathroom. Uh, no. uh the left is Oh actually yeah, the left is the men's room. So you guys are headed through the men's room right now. Yeah. Alright. Oh, can we go through here? Yeah. Come on, Aki. Go. All right. <laughs> he covers Kosuke. You step over Kosuke. Yeah. Excuse me, Kosuke. Excuse me, Kosuke. Excuse me, Kosuke. Excuse me, Kosuke. 
Chasing after <laughs> yeah, Ryunosuke's like, get off! off. <laughs> like, punches Ichiro. Uh, all right. We've had a fun time exploring. Now, I was sure that there was going to be an emergency test, but given the circumstances, I'm sure with Dr. Wakeman and her group, she might be going through a bit more trouble. So, we'll just take that as a sign of good luck. And we're going to head back for the day. Now, we will be keeping these groups for the first three days. And of course, I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. But we're going to go ahead and walk back to the suite. And if you need me, me, uh, Mr. Silo, or Dr. Wakeman, you guys can page us using the phone downstairs or ask Kleenite personally. I will say I am a certified therapist. So if you encounter anything too problematic, you can, of course, call me. Uh, there is, of course, going to be training seminars. I believe Mr. Silo was holding. Um, if you want to get in contact with him during your free periods. Uh, but until then, let's head back. So he's going to drag you all back to the suites. Um, while you guys are walking back, is there any bit of conversations you'd like to, or any bit of conversation you'd like to have had? Do you have a doctorate? Uh, yes, several. All right, Mr. Smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you get, yeah, anyone? Anyone have any comments? Uh, I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah, you would say that. Uh, and finally, your group finally arrives. I know you're all lined up, but I'm, I'm going to move you appropriately. <clears throat> uh, coming back in, you guys can see Rory, Sukara, Kyo, and Tsutiko playing a game. Uh, Sosuke is at the far end. Alina... Hitori, Nanashi, uh, Tsuyoshi goes to join them, EI of course in the far back, and Elias peeking into the vending machine. You guys are over by the front. As you enter, you see Akihiko joining, trying to play, uh, but being rejected. <laughs> being told that there's already a few people <laughs> playing. Uh, Clean Knight is already by the front with Mitsuru. Um, Ryunosuke, or actually, I think of everyone. Uh, Amara is probably just gonna go hang out by the others. Um, with Soul Doctor joining over by Clean Knight. He actually is gonna go behind the desk, um, along with Dr. Wakeman. Um, Silo is standing outside. He cannot get in. Uh, as you guys uh, enter, he's like, Good afternoon, guys! Did you have a good, uh, exploration? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, and you pass by. Where the fuck is Ichiro? Oh, he's over here. Um, is there anywhere that you guys would like to head? Or would you guys like to, to start your free period now? Do you want to interact with anyone? Uh... Or ask anyone to hang out. Um, Clean Knight uh, does explain to you guys as you enter. With he gives a, um, and I don't know if you guys could hear that. I might have peaked my audio, but he does oh, the. Yeah, we did not. Oh, he does the clap. That's like da 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 da, uh, and you oh, hear yeah. a, a fair amount of them give a da da uh, clap in response. Obviously, the regular offenders, EI, Kyo, Sukara, kind of just eyeball him. Um, all right, everyone. You have about the next couple hours to roam about the facility as you see fit. There will be no emergency... Uh, sorry. I immediately swapped off of my guide for this. Uh... There will be no emergency response testing today, so you're free to move throughout. Please try and stay relatively close to the... Oh my goodness. To the suites, as afterwards there will be a curfew. But consider this your free period for the next few hours. Um, and you guys are now able to explore either anywhere you haven't been or anywhere you have previously been. Um, and you can ask anyone else 
to come with you if you would like. Um, you can also eavesdrop on conversations being had in the living room, or I guess the lobby. Uh, <laughs> Silo is just kind of sitting on a like on his ass outside. Um, but Rienosuke is of course following you, unless you guys plan on going somewhere else. To which Rienosuke states that he would like to just stay here and plans on going up to his room, unless you have somewhere that you would like to invite him. Ryunosuke said that? So, yeah, Ryunosuke yeah, is going to go up to his room. Oh, you're good. Uh, what uh, what places haven't we seen? Uh, you guys actually you have a map in the little chat if you want to peek oh, at yeah. it. Uh, but right, right. right now, you guys have visited the subway, the apartment building, the arcade, the bowling alley. No, you didn't. You went to the warehouse. <laughs> I forgot to take you to the bowling alley. But understandably it's just off limits right now we'll go there tomorrow <laughs> uh or actually no well he has willingly not taken you there uh there is of course the high school and retro diner which you have been to which you have not been to the movie theater the motel the military compound the dive bar the suburb house or the radio tower Go to the movie theater. You want to go to the movie theater? True. You want to go That's see That's what I vote for. Put on the movie. Rena's good. Uh, are you inviting him? Movie? Yeah. Oh, uh, what movies? Oh, uh, we have no idea. Um, if you I want, we're gonna find out. Yeah. There is ten movies that play. Throughout the day, um, but you'll find out when you get there. Sure. Well, let's get going. All right. You want to invite anyone else? Uh, this is also, sure, I will I say, uh, uh, this is basically your free training period right now. So, okay. if you want, you can use this time to train stuff like your cooperation or your charisma i guess um it would be like a combo or like uh it would be a cooperation sub thing um but for kosuke it would technically be a charisma training you're for what <laughs> you're taking ryunosuke to the movies oh uh, yeah uh... <clears throat> Wait, it would it would be boosting my charisma? Yeah, it would be your charisma training. Ugh, I don't need that. <laughs> you can also do something else. Uh, persuasion? <laughs> yeah. It's a little sus, but okay. <laughs> well, I mean... No, I'm joking. What I truly need is fortitude or intimidation. That's power. Mm hmm Uh I might have opened the wrong place. You you what are you trying to train? Like I I truly want to train fortitude or intimidation. Okay. You don't have to I will say you guys have a lot of time here. So if you want, okay. you can train in other places. You don't have to do this. Um I went to go check and see if the theater was ready and it just wasn't <laughs> i think uh so what would you guys like to train during your free period i should say you don't have to go anywhere uh and you don't actually have to train but you can enjoy exploring if you want uh i'd, I'd like to improve my fortitude okay you want to train in the uh like in-house Rec room? <clears throat> uh, Ichiro? Sure, yeah. Co uh, Homura? Uh, I need to train my combo. Okay. Mm. I mean, you could uh. spot him. <laughs> yeah, that works. Ichiro? I have to do one. Um... Oh my god, sorry. Reaction. 
Oh, reaction? Okay. Uh, hmm. Can I watch Homura spot Kosuke? <laughs> you could try to, like, react. <laughs> you could speed, or, or you... I was gonna say, you could, uh... I mean, I guess you could just... Have one of the others help you with training. Tsuyoshi is more than willing, unless you want to ask, like, Sukara or someone else. You could ask Sukara to do a little, like, boxing practice kind of thing with you. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> As you're pulling up, he goes, BAM! Oh, hey, buddy, what's going on? Oh, uh, Sukara. Oh, uh, Ichiro. Oh, God, I'm going with you. <laughs> you yeah, pick him up like you pick him up like Donkey Kong. <laughs> All right, yeah. Akihiko immediately takes his spot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rory's like no. All right, uh, he's attached We're to you, by the way. For sure. <laughs> what are we playing again? Uh, no, he's uh, Akihiko really at uh, Rory and Kyo Sutiko combo. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, retcon. Yes. Uh, that sounds cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna work out. Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah. No, that's cool. <laughs> Immediately goes upstairs. Uh, let's see. We have running, running, uh, lifting. Uh, there's gonna be a few of them that are gonna stay downstairs and play games. Um, or to check, someone punch me over and over. <laughs> I'll flex my abs. I'll flex my abs. Yeah, it's like Yakuza. Alright. Ichiro, you're gonna move in? Yeah. Yep. Homura, where are you headed? You're doing with training with Kosuke, right? Here. Alright, Kosuke, you're gonna be doing a little lifting, and Homura, you're gonna be doing a little spotting. Kosuke, give me a fortitude check. Homura, okay, give me a reaction me check. And Ichiro, give me... Or no, what are you training, Ichiro? Reaction time? Yeah. And Shay, what are you doing? Combo. Combo, that's what it is. Give me a little combo check. Seven. We both oh, got combo? seven. Hang on, I didn't, I didn't roll for you combo. You for reaction, yeah. Because I'm stupid. Ten. All right. What'd you get, Alec? A seven. Ooh. And what's your... What's your power? Two. Oh, then you're fine. Uh, and Kosuke... Nope. Ichiro. What did I'm you Ichiro. get? Give me a reaction check. Eleven. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, you get a... All of you get a point in your desired training... Uh, Sukara is just standing in the center. You guys put on these little soft boxing gloves, and he kind of holds up the little pads for you to hit, and it's like, bow, 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 bow. Uh, Kosuke, you're stuck next to Alina. As you guys are sitting next to each other, uh, you both are, like, emitting a different kind of temperature. Of course, Alina oh, next yeah. to you is is very hot and you counteracting that are producing a very cold chill from your body uh there is almost like a small storm brewing on the ceiling between <laughs> you two uh between the cold and hot or heat front uh it's getting humid in here yeah it's getting muggy as hell you can hear hitori like <laughs> um <laughs> <Tsuyoshi>. <laughs> uh afterward you guys can spend the next few hours working out and showering. Um, of course, after the time has been set, everyone is either back in their dorms or in somebody else's dorm. Uh, let's see. Let me move people back or to their dorms. Uh, all right. Alina, thanks you guys for working out next to her as if that was required and is going to go up to her room. She disappears while Tsuyoshi and Hitori uh, are enjoying their time. 
Sukara asks, like, <laughs> Hey, Ichiro, while y'all were out, how was your uh, trip around the uh, faculty? No, facility. That's what it is. Yeah. Thanks, pal. He just asked you how you, how it was, and you went, thanks, pal. Oh, oh, oh I, I was thinking for helping me. Uh, how oh, was, how was your guys' what? trip? Like, how was your exploration? Kind of weird. How so? Well, there's this guy. Um... Kosuke, what? remember that guy? <laughs> yeah, Doctor Strange. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. Is his name really Doctor Strange? It was so... Oh. Soul Doctor. Ah. But, well, uh... What, what, what was so strange about him? I don't know. He would... He constantly asked weird questions that seemingly had nothing to do with anything. After, like, making contact with you. Hmm. It's 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 I don't know. It's as confusing as I have, but really, just with a touch. Yeah, seemingly like, it seems like it. Huh? That's weird. I feel like that's not also very appropriate. I feel like teachers shouldn't be using their quirks like that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it was a it was something that maybe I don't know. He starts scratching his head. Uh, and so she stops for a moment and goes, well, he must have had some kind of justifiable reason. Surely Clean Knight wouldn't allow such a dangerous man to use quirks to... What did you say you think he does? What did you say? What did you say? Do you like memories or to past life or... I don't know. Something. Are you by chance talking about Soul Doctor? Yeah. Oh. Uh, good heavens! I had no idea he was here. Back in England, you see, uh, I actually know of him. He's quite famous. He is. I, I, I kid you not. Uh, Hitori goes on a little explanation. He's not, uh, per se, world-renowned, but he does have quite the... How you say... Definitely not infamy, but the better version of that. He's helped countless villains, I'm sure of it. His reputation precedes him where I live. He's talked several villains out of large-scale grand attacks and bank robberies and villainous acts. If he touched you, I'm sure it was merely a... How you say? No, seriously, how do you say? Uh... <laughs> Seriously, guys, help me out here. Get it out, man. <laughs> Sorry, Japanese is not my first language. Uh, I guess complimentary. An a introductory greeting. More of a to get to know you better. Surely he wasn't planning anything devious with it. And yeah, but he did, yeah, I mean, he just seemed pretty freaked out after he... Hitori seems taken aback by this. But, uh, freaked out? What, how do you mean? Like, he literally, like, stumbled away from me uh, and then called the clean type. He, uh, he, this Hitori, like, puts his hand on his chest and goes, My word! Now, I've never heard of that happening. No, no, usually when he does it, it's simply a, a few seconds and then, uh, he begins talking you down or, or, or explaining things that may help you on your journey. But, uh, to be shocked, I... Kosuke, you don't, haven't been up to such villainy in your past, have you? He begins, like, leaning forward at you guys. Blink, blink. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can see his, his eye mask, like, his eye, uh, his eye covers on his mask do a little blink. He's like, Kosuke, you weren't a villain in your early life, were you? No. Oh, surely. You seem such a nice man. Homura, you seem... <laughs> kind <Almost> yeah <laughs> Ichiro you, you are a very carefully oh, raised Hitori, oh, my yeah. greatest friend oh I uh, love you you squeeze him in a hug and, ah, uh, 
<laughs> he, uh, his tail, like, does a little, like, zigzag in shock. <laughs> You're a very kind lad. Did he, by chance, read you? Hmm? Oh, uh, if that's what he was doing, probably, yeah. And surely, he puts a hand on uh, Ichiro as if you guys have been friends. Surely he didn't seem shocked by what he saw. Hmm. I think he said he had to go take a call. Uh, you don't say. He steps <laughs> back from Ichiro for a moment. Uh, listen, I'm not entirely sure about what this man's quirk is, but I do know that he's a very, very well-renowned hero with a very, very high respect for where I come from. I have known you for mm, some odd weeks, and you're very kind people. Perhaps he saw things that he felt were invasive, or didn't feel as though he should mention to you. Um, In our own... It yeah, has... Well, we all got our own dark shit. I assure you, I don't believe any of you are terrible or have done anything quite horrible in your past. Uh, but well, no, no, no. It, it, it only works. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm in more like trauma. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it only works once, and it has a somewhat sizable, re re how I say, refresh rate. So, I'm sure upon the second touch or whatever, he isn't too scared of you. Uh, he didn't. Well, he didn't say anything to you, did he? I just asked, I mean, he asked if I had ever been to UA before. Sakara's like, I'm going to step outside. I don't, I don't feel like I'm appropriately uh, up to date with what's going <laughs> yeah. on. Ichiro, I, you want to swing by the room tonight? Do a little bit of oh. gaming? Oh, oh yeah, of course. Oh, hell yeah. All right, well, I'll see you. And you hear Even. him like go out. See she is like, He's a nice well, boy. hold on, Hitori. He touched my shoulder and... He didn't seem to stumble. Uh, Kosuke, uh, surely you've uh, jaywalked in your past, or uh, you've thrown uh, recycling in the garbage. That, that must be what he was a bit disturbed about. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. There was a lot. There was a lot more complexity to it when he was on the phone with Clean Knight. Oh, he said he touched me. I, I don't remember him. Being too concerned? Do you? Do you? He now nervously is like, well, now that you say that, he, he did touch me, and after he did, he didn't really mention anything to me. Isn't yeah, that a good thing? Uh, Kosuke, you saw him after I entered. He touched my shoulder. Uh, did you... Did you notice anything? Uh, yeah, actually... He, oh my god, you know when a character looks terrified and like they got the like, the blue lines drawn down their face? He yeah. grabs you by the shoulders and like, Kosuke, wh what did he say? Yeah, well, well, it's it's not that he s said anything, it was more that he just kind of, well actually I, I think you did say something. I just he actually, I, I don't actually remember if he said anything specifically, but he did look confused. He, he was looking down at his hand. Well, uh, surely that wasn't bad. It, it couldn't have meant anything horrible. And Hitori is like, oh, sh surely, surely, Tsuyoshi. I'm, I'm, well, well, he's never actually. Oh, so fucked. Mm, listen, how about I talk to Clean Knight for you? And perhaps enlighten us about what could have or could not have transpired during his active perception of your well memories or lack thereof I am sure as a man of the Isles he'll find more comfort in discussing with me and considering I have a history or, or know his history he'll be more inclined to share with me yeah uh, let's hope I, uh, I'll go talk I mean, to if, him it, yeah if you talk to him tonight i guess come by our room Sh uh, of course uh well lads it has been wonderful working out with you if you need anything further i'll be with hitori in our room after tsuyoshi is like 
Er, uh, I'll be with Hattori. I'll be with Tsuyoshi. Tsuyoshi is like talking to his hand and he's like, what do you mean? He was confused. Uh, come on, come on, lad. Uh, and he like puts a, he pets him on the shoulder. I'm sure it meant nothing. I'm sure he was just confused. Uh, and he guides Tsuyoshi to the elevator to which uh, Tsuyoshi heads on up. Um, and you watch as Hitori goes into the lobby room. Do you guys want to head up to your room? Uh, it is now nighttime and curfew has set. You're not allowed to leave the suite unless it's for an emergency or you've been sanctioned. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and head up to your room if you'd like. Or, or you or. can go spy or listen in to the lobby room. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So this is this would be something that you guys were doing while Tsuyoshi was walking. Or Tsuyoshi. While Tsuyoshi and Hitori were walking out. Um, so Hitori continues. He doesn't expect you to follow him. But as he enters the room, you can hear conversation. Mitsuru yelling in what? the uh, lobby. Uh, all of a sudden, it completely silences as Hitori walks in. Mm. Uh, and H Kleenet's like, Hitori, uh, <laughs> how can I help you, son? Um, uh, and Hitori's like, uh, well, Mr. Kleenet, I actually had an inquiry, a query for Mr. Soul Doctor. Um, and you guys can go ahead and move to where you would like to eavesdrop from or to the room where you would like to go. I feel like I feel like I'd be able to hear good in this closet. Okay. Yeah, but if we're right here, we can just say we were waiting for the elevator. Ichiro? I guess so. Uh, I'll just find these guys. Oh wait, I'll shove myself in this closet. <laughs> As Hitori <laughs> steps in, I'm gonna need you guys to give me a perception check. Fifteen. Damn. Homer, I can hear it. You need to beat a six, so realistically, Eight. none of you should be failing. <laughs> Kinda Cinderace, but cold. Ichiro. Ichiro. <laughs> Ichiro. Yeah, it's up, guys. You gonna you gonna roll perception? All right, you can all hear it. Yes, son. Uh, how can I help you? Well, uh, I, I was just talking with a few of my classmates, and I... Hello, Mr. Soul Doctor. I, I wasn't aware if you knew this, but I'm actually f from England myself, and I'm quite a big fan of you. And you can hear... Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad to see uh, a fellow hero in training. Uh, recognizes my work? Uh, well, yes, that's just the problem. They mentioned that you had a bit of a problem, and to my understanding, your quirk is quite simple in, in how it's enacted, and I wanted to know if something was wrong, or if you had been finding trouble with, uh, and soul doctors. Uh, hold on, lad. I appreciate the inquiry into my health and well-being, but I am sorry to say I can't discuss that with you. Uh, clean eye, uh, kind of a sensing the tension being like, Hitori, uh, you see, he's been traveling a lot lately, and I, I believe that the fatigue and the jet lag has simply dulled his senses. Uh, and Mitsuru goes, yeah, if you want to say it like that. Uh, hey. Before clean, it's like, quiet. Hitori. Uh, Hitori gives a, oh, well, I see. Um, if you don't mind, I just wanted to inquire if you saw anything of danger from my classmates uh, before so doctor's like oh uh, no no upon a further inspection your classmates are very kind Hitori I assure you that they're not dastardly or up to no good the kids are truly kind you have nothing to worry about these young lads are and lasses are Truly, truly heroes in training, deserving of the title. I see. Um, 
Well, th it was nice meeting you. Um, and Hitori's like, I'll be off then. Mm. Uh, Queen Knight gives him a like, oh, all right. We'll see you tomorrow, Hitori. Um, and he goes, all right then. Have a good night, Mr. Henri. Mr. Evans. Miss Wakeman. Mr. Ray. And he goes, yeah, dude. Have a good night. Uh, Mr. Clean Knight and the others are, good night, good night. Oh, good night, mister. Um, and he passes by. You see Hitori, like, turns back and goes, oh, are you, are you spying? Yeah. You shouldn't spy. I'm waiting not... for the elevator. Oh. Is it, yeah, uh, is it not coming? What? I see oh. your problem. You haven't pressed the button. Oh. <laughs> yes, I see. Bro. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Both immediately. Uh, he presses the button and... Well, he... Thank God we have you here for something. <laughs> As you guys are stepping on, um, you hear me through like... Ooh. I said no! Uh, and then the door closes and you guys head up to your floor. Uh, Sounds weep. heated in there. Yes, I suspect they're doing something that Mitsuru does not really want to comply with. Well, none of my business. Uh, beep. Carries on upstairs. All right, guys. We are hitting the nighttime portion. Oh, sweet pearl. Uh, uh I guess I'll. I guess I'll go see if Ryonosuke wants to play Monster Hunter. All right. Yeah, this is this is a time for you guys to do a little social link. This is not his room. <laughs> you knock on the EI Elias and Shingo's door. Wait, He's a floor out. Yeah. Um, Homura, Ichiro? Uh, I'm supposed to go to Sukara's room. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck did I put Sukara? It's in Ras. Oh, no, I carried oh, him Oh, you mean far. like him? Yeah, 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 I grabbed his his uh, his icon and brought him up too far. Um. All right, and Homura, where do you want to go? Man, I don't know. Uh, this... Okay. Come with me to Sukara's room is a yeah, okay. very fun time because now you guys will be being asked and ask people. Oh, it's because he's still attached to you. <laughs> uh, hold on. Now, ah, ah, stop it. Ah. <laughs> Are you guys are just dancing. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You can have... My big gay dance. Uh, you guys can ask questions about your friends that you hadn't asked before. Like what their early life was like, their quirk manifestation, their admission to UA, or their U or their life at UA. Um, so Ichiro, you're with Sukara. Ryunosuke uh, is with Kosuke, and oh, I gotta open up their living room. Uh, and Homura, did you want to hang out with anyone specific? I was just gonna hang out in Sukara's room. All right, with Ichiro. Um, so starting off with that then. There is a little party. Um, Rory, Sutiko, Akihiko, Sukara, Ichiro, and Homura have all booted up some games to play. Um, Box Jack, you know, the usual. Um, and the topic gets on to Ichiro. I never asked, but what was your early life like? Uh, well, I was just on a farm for most of it mm. until I came here, really. What inspired you to, well, if you don't mind me asking, be a hero? And you can, you can also just make this up on the spot, Alex. I know you haven't, like, written out a 70-page docket about Ichiro's life prior to coming to UA. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't have a good answer for you. <laughs> Homura, what was your laugh like? Something special. That's sad. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, you guys were quirkless, right? Yeah. yeah. Kosuke got beat up a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up some rough memories. He can't help it. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> Kosuke? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I was pretty lonely, too. I got really obsessed with TV shows growing up, and I kind of just tucked myself away. I grew up on a farm with my parents, and I actually, I don't know if y'all know this, I have a little sister. It's a small town, actually not too far from the one that you lived in, Nichiro, in Gunma. I used to help work at the farm, and, well, <sighs> my mother wanted to be a hero. And you can see uh, Rory and Akihiko are like, dude, what? You never told us this. And he goes, I, yeah, no, but it never came up. My mother wanted to be a hero back when she was younger, but when she got pregnant with me, I kind of fell out of her plan. So, I, you know, grew up on superheroes, and I love my mom. I thought maybe I could be one for her. Um, she's also a really big influence on my life. Her name, and he goes over. He has a sister, and of course his mother and father, um, he explains that his father's name is Kabutos Kamui, and he's just like this gigantic beetle man. Um, his mother, Aranea Kamui, is a woman. He shows his family picture. His father uh, looks like that fucking beetle dude from Kubo. He's just massive with a shell. His mother uh, has several arms that uh, are like her her spider legs. And his little sister is named Lorai. And the younger photo of her is her. She's big-eyed. She's got little pincers around her mouth. Uh, and she's like, yeah, we used to think that she uh, was a little grub. But it turns out, and he pulls out like a, a photo on his smartphone. And she's just wrapped up in a cocoon in her room, like plastered along the ceiling. Uh, she's uh, a butterfly. She hasn't come out yet, but we expect she's going to come out around her freshman year uh early september a little bit into the summer she's still able to talk um, so she's how been... long has she been oh shoot how she... long has she been in there she's been there for a few months she's taken school at home a little bit of online coursework to make up for her missing work do you guys have any siblings i you know what scratch that yeah a few i think i know the answer Ichiro. <laughs> do you have any favorite siblings all of them. I should have guessed. Uh, Homura? Uh, you can see Rory one. and Akihiko and Sutiko are like, Homura, you a sibling? Who? Just an older sister. An older sister? Rory's like, ooh, I bet she's tough as nuts. Is she strong? Yeah. <laughs> Is she a Hero Course student too? No, she's always been more academic. Mm. Well, I'm trying so hard to remember her name right now. <laughs> it's Hikari. I don't know. <laughs> Hikari uh, Yoshino. True. Uh, do you <laughs> do you want my little note slide that I saved for you? Sure. Um. All right. Um. Well, yeah, they're all very interested. They're all like, well, we know Ichiro's got family. Homer, I didn't know you had a, a I could sister. tell you about them. Could you? Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they, are, they are genuinely curious. Um, There's so many of them. There are. I remember. Uh, do you want me to send you the notes? Sure, actually. All right. I have all of your siblings' names as well as the the older siblings uh little notes that you have for them um and here you go Yippee. whoever wants to talk first can but rory and uh sutiko are like oh my god homura you gotta tell us what is she like pretty uh stoic 
Mm. Doesn't really cry or anything or get angry. Oh. Uh, She's got a cool quirk though. What? What's her quirk? Kind of like mine, but she just coats her arms in blood. Oh, Sutiko gives you like a cringe face, like the fucking Enaru face, but with no sound coming out. <laughs> and Aki, he goes like, "Oh my god, Homura, you have a mom." Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Do you have a dad too? Sure do. Oh my god, I'm learning so much about you guys. Do you have any siblings? Akihiko, what are... Oh. Just one. Oh my god. What are they? An older sister. Oh. And do you guys have any parents? <laughs> yeah. Sukara yeah, gives you Sukara like? and Sukara, Rory, and Sutiko are doing the like cut it motion for Homura. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> uh, it's like Alex, getting... you wanted to ask a question. Uh, yeah. What are your parents like? I'm dead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Damn. okay. Damn. Damn. Well, what were they like? I don't really remember. <laughs> I grew up. Somewhere in Hokkaido. Uh, I live with my grandpa. He was really good uh, at brewing sake. Um, they traveled a lot, to my knowledge, but one day they just never came back. Um, my grandpa's also the big reason that I remember so much about the stars. He'd take me out on nights that he was brewing. He'd point them out, show me through his telescope. Ah, He, like, is remembering it all. Um, and he explains... They had, uh, Akihiko found his love for the stars at an extremely young age and always dreamed about being the first hero in space. He says his horrible memory was caused by something, but he can't really remember what. Uh, but all he remembers is that he was saved by his grandfather. Uh, his grandfather's name is Go Takutentai. Um, <laughs> someone goes, bro was cooked at early life. Um, and over in, and as that conversation draw, drains out, uh, over in Ryunosuke and Kosuke room, um, as you guys are gaming, Ryunosuke does, like, kind of, you can tell he becomes a bit more on edge, um, but he's like, Kosuke, um, we've been together for a while, and, um, and I just, I wanted to tell you now. I don't think you're going to be able to meet my parents. And by I don't think, I mean you're just not going to be able to. Uh, that's okay. I mean, I wasn't planning on you ever meeting my dad, so. Oh, I'm, I mean, is he still in your life? Uh, by technicality. Oh, what about your mom? Yeah, she's cool. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we've got at least one cool parent among us. And then he looks at you with, like, oh, among us. Um, <laughs> his face. Um, do you want to ask him about his parents? Or do you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, uh. Uh, what were your parents like? The topic is sensitive. But you guys have grown quite close. You can tell that bringing it up shakes him a little bit, but he grabs at his arm in a sort of reflex. When I was really young, I don't really think my parents knew how to take care of me. I was really nonverbal back then, and I used to have really bad meltdowns. Um, my parents gave me up to child services when I was really young, and I did not really have a great time and he starts to grip his shoulder a little bit harder when i was at child services they didn't really understand me either so i ran away i lived at a net cafe for a little bit i used to stream online and make what i could to eat and did odd jobs for the cafe i was kind of wasting away and 
I don't know if you could kind of put them together, but... <laughs> I say streaming, but uh, he also used to do people's homework online for prices and, mm. uh, like, do online, like, art or, or use his quirk illegally to uh, obtain mm. funds. That's when Clean Knight found me. He said I looked really bad and that if I wanted to, I could come stay with him. And, of course... I mean, your first thought is also, ew, adult man, no, I won't go home with you. But I looked into him. And after I learned about his... He stops for a moment. And then he looks at you and goes, past. I figured we might be in the same boat. So I decided I would go live with him. And in payback to... Or I guess in service of living there, he made me promise that I would attend UA. And, well, I kept that promise. Um, and you can see he's not like, he doesn't sound like he's breaking up or that he's upset. But tears are starting to like form in the corners of his eyes. And, uh, yeah, what were you going to say? Yeah, I was gonna say like a. Uh... Yeah, Lee Knight seems like a really great parent. He is. I have no doubt that if he has kids one day, those kids are gonna grow up happy. Um, hey, you're his kids. Where? <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, he starts crying a little hard. He like puts his game down uh, and covers his face. Uh, and you're free to hug or let him finish. Yeah, I'll, I'll hug him. Okay. And you guys are are gonna end the night there. He loves it. He, yeah, he doesn't fight you, which is a really good sign. Um. Mm -mm. We fade out as the rest of the afternoon, or I guess evening, is spent comforting, gaming, partying, and enjoying each other's company. Night uh, two is at its end, and we will see you guys next week. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, if you enjoy My Hero Class 1C and you want to play this, it's available in our Discord. If you want to watch our VODs, it's available like our uh, streams on twitch.tv slash perihelion creative or YouTube. Uh, I don't think it's youtube.com slash perihelion creative, but you can find us on YouTube under perihelion creative. Uh, we will have next week's VODs uploaded with an, a description of our last session, but you can find our free system in the Discord and any of the players you want to check out, you can check out in our description down below. Thank you so much for coming, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Do you guys want to end us off with anything in specific? Any comments? Anything you want to say before we finish up? Kalamazoo.